Roberto, here. Down here, Roberto. Wait a minute. Hello, dear friends. Hey, I'm over here in the crawl space. It's nice and clean. I just finished cleaning. But I want to show you something extremely disturbing that I found over here, right? Let me show you. May I have my camera, please? Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. Well, I mean, you may know me, I'm Hugo Correa, and I like to teach a lot of things, and especially all these horrible things that I'm going to show you over here are really important for you to consider. What you see here are, are the main lines that are bringing water to uh, what used to be a water heater over here, and over there you're going to see the gas, the natural line, right, the natural gas line. But look what these irresponsible guys did. They went through the entire 2 by 10 with this beam, I mean, with, this, with these pipes. Look in the middle, right? So if you know a little bit of a carpentry or construction or, or just common sense, when you perforate an entire beam like that, you're just taking the entire strength of the beam. That joist is not gonna help that much. You're gonna put a little bit of pressure on top of the stuff and it's gonna collapse, right? You don't do that by code. You're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to do perforations like that. And please, 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 if you are a contractor please make sure that you don't do this because you're damaging the integrity of the house and if you are not a contractor if you are uh, a nice rifle owner of a property and you find these things you're gonna have to assist sister these beams over here with something else so they can actually support the house now what happened with this this beam goes all the way across here and it sits on that side well guess what happens when you don't have the strength of these things your uh, floor starts sinking your structure starts sinking the frames of your doors start becoming unsquare right everything is becoming a mess and you don't know what's going on and you try to level the floors but in fact what is messed up is the entire beam so why don't you get i mean if you want to if you have to perforate your structural beams and and other members you know wood members you have a rule there is a code that you have to follow so you know exactly how much of a perforation you can do into a beam because you can do some perforations but there are specific areas where you're not supposed to do the stuff well especially right in the middle right right in the middle where all the weight is going to be right there but there are areas you're able to make some perforations and they are on the on the code you can actually find the areas where you can actually perforate and how big right but don't do this please and if you do this uh, shame on you and if you happen to have an issue like that, you may want to take down those beams or sister them because sometimes it's kind of hard to take them out. But but you can sister them, you can reinforce them back again and make sure that you don't perforate those beams anymore, right? So with this, let me turn back over here. With this, I want to uh, thank you and please uh, make sure that you follow the channel. There's a lot of good information over here and just don't forget to read a little bit of the building codes make sure that you follow the rules make sure that you consult sometimes this that consultation is for free in some areas you can actually ask the experts about how to take care of those things and do not cut beams to put your pipes and stuff like that you're damaging the house okay so thank you subscribe to this channel hit that little notification bell and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye